So this video is going to be all about working out the final little details in all the different components. So I'm just going to cut in some of the details of the forward section of the laser. On one side of it it's got a tiny little rectangular piece and on both sides it's got two little holes. Because of the fact that this is rounded it is going to be really difficult to try and do that so I'm going to do two small pilot holes and then increase it in drill size to try and get the effect that I'm looking for. Don't forget, this will be your last chance to go into the draw to win one of those shirts if you want to get in. Uh, there's about a week to go now before the final reveal video and the winner will be announced in that video. So just like and share my Facebook page to go into the draw. As before, I'll leave a link in the description section if you want to get involved. Pretty much gives me that little square line detail that I need. I've just given that a little light sand so you can see how that's going to sit. So on with the rest of the details. So there's the rounded piece that's been made up and it's just been curved around the sides now. The gap will be at the bottom. That gap could have been a little bit smaller but for the sake that it's underneath it's not going to phase me at all and with the fact that the cord's going to be coming out of that position uh, it's going to look totally fine anyway. The final piece of detail for that will be the band piece that goes across the top. So after a little bit more refinement, just to uh, make that a little bit more flat to the edge, that's what we've come up with. So now it's on to the next little bit. So that's the little piece sorted out for the rear side. That piece will end up being blackened and I think it'll have a couple of little screw details or little hole details added to it as well. So I've just got to work out a few of the cut-in line details now and then all the parts will be ready to put aside for final cleanup. If you've been enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and share them, that helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date on the new videos coming out. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I'm always happy to answer any questions you might have. It's time to fire up the Frankenstein machine again and polish up these components. So I'll just put them all in there loosely. I need to add some cutting compound, which is going to be a handful of sand out of my sandblaster. And we need a pretty liberal dose of dishwashing detergent and an equally generous amount of cream cleanser which is the sort of stuff you'd clean your bench tops with. I'm going to finish off the whole thing by adding in about four litres of water. I'll clamp the lid on, let it run for about four hours, and hopefully that'll give me a consistent finish across the entire surface of all the parts. So that's pretty much the update for this time, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.